guys welcome to the ZND Talks now I'm hanging out with the one and only the superstar who's taken forever to come to Zambia since, since he dropped his album in 2018 like we were thinking maybe yeah. by then he'll be here but yeah. it's 2021 and he managed to find his way to Lusaka talking about the one and only Melinda please teach me how to pronounce your name uh it's Melinda the vocalist Melinda the vocalist very simple what does Melinda mean um, Lindo actually comes from my real name, it's Lindo, mm. so Lindo Gushe. Um, it means actually just wait for good, wait for good, good, <laughs> not gold. Imagine <laughs> for good, yes. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, then my boys used to just call me Lindo from mm. like, like, um, from when I was young, so it's actually Lindo Gushe. Lindo. And then, yeah, okay. Lindo Kuhi. Lindo Kuhi. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Welcome getting to Zambia. Somewhere. First time to Zambia, right? Yeah. It's like I said in my opening, it's been a long mm. time coming. My 2018, all the blessers have run away now. Ish. We can't find blessers anymore. Anymore, ne? Yeah. Ah, but no, I think I'm here now, so mm. I'm going to come with the energy, maybe. Mm. Oh, you want one? <laughs> oh, God, so, okay. Did you come with one? <laughs> I think so, right? <laughs> I think so. I can, I uh, can hook you up. I can hook you up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll we'll try. Ah, welcome to welcome to ZNB Talks. This is Zambia Music Blog Talks. Mm. In case you're wondering what we're called. Mm. Um, mm. what what's that special thing you've heard about Zambia? Man? Zambia. Mm. Ish, now, okay, sharp. Besides the ladies. Um, I heard that you guys have like beautiful ladies, but now I'm taken, so ish, yeah, ish. <laughs> you're going to do about, about that. that. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard that you guys have like a lot of veggies. Yes. I don't know how true is that. We do. But yeah, I've heard that. So mm. I think I'm going to be a vegetarian from yeah. now on. So yeah. What brings you to Zambia, Melinda? Always wanted to just travel Africa, so yeah. And how Brilliant. do you feel that it's a talent that's making you travel? Yes, that's the favorite part, because now, yeah, you know, mm. it's not like I'm going just because there was, uh, I'm deployed because of what, uh -huh. what, 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 what. <laughs> no, it's just go there and sing, so mm. it's a blessing, actually. Nice. Yeah. Actually, your swag is like an ordinary person, but your talent is so unique. Mm. Where mm. do you derive that from? Your sound is so unique. I really don't know. Eh? It just happens. Mm. I I just like cry music. Yeah, that's what I call my music. Cry music. Yeah, I call it cry music. <laughs> so it's just more about the message and the songs. Mm. It's love. Most of the time, heartbroken stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I cry a lot. So I've been hurt. Oh, a couple of times. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, but uh, I think it's. It's better now. Uh, it's better now. I'm getting somewhere. Nice. What were you saying in your song, the one you did with this feature in Krista? Yeah. Oh. 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 What were you saying? It's actually it's nothing deep, right? Mm. It's just saying it's okay, who's Ophia? Like it's going to be lit. Um, meaning both sides. Ah. Simple. So was it was it a love song or it was? A nah, song it's time? just uh, it was just a party song. Ah. and yeah, I think it's the only one in the album. Ah. yeah. Oh so. yeah, because the night. Oh yeah, ne. yeah. Ne. Oh yeah, yeah. So ah. it was just a vibe. So yeah. That's all I was just saying. Nice. So 2018, you gave us a Makai. Did mm. I pronounce that correct? Yes, ma'am. What does it? What does? Yep. Shout out. To yep. That one. <laughs> what does it mean? A Makai means. A Makai is home. Mm. So a Makai, uh, it's just the opposite of um the town life the mm. burbs so where are you actually from like the village and stuff like that so mm. yeah it's just that mm. where's your hometown back in south africa i'm from kzn in kwazulu natal i uh, i love the, the tone of kwazulu natal i always yeah. claim i'm from that side what's okay. so beautiful about kwazulu natal i don't know it's just that with zulus no, oh a, yeah. okay so that's that tells the, the, the album art you know yeah, the shield yeah, yeah. and everything it's just like the uh, traditional outfit mm. and then i just had to like fuse it a little bit nice but, yeah are you signed to any record label currently mm, yes i'm actually signed under sony wow. sony music Wow. So, yeah, I'm just working on finishing my contract there. When is your album coming out? When is your second album coming? Yeah, please? I've been done with my album. It's long due, actually. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to come out um, last year, June. Uh, and then... COVID. COVID. 
And then I've been kind of like feeling some type of way with releasing while we are still under this pandemic mm. stuff. So um, we've decided to actually drop an EP of nine songs. So nice. we're going to be dropping that one, I think, by June. Nice. Yeah, so nice. the album, you guys have to wait. Wait, I, I heard um, mm. Valentine's is coming just yesterday. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that a cover? Are you actually the originator of that song or what happened? We, it was, what, how do you call it? We just saw a video on the net that was, that Valentine is coming. coming. Ding, ding, ding. Where is your boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we saw that thing. Um, then me and Marciano, we were just chilling in studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just made an idea and then just harmonized it. We sang it and then I think we recorded it around three in the morning. Wow. And then we just decided to just give it to the people in the morning, You're like around six, yeah. I love so, the fact that you say you brought in the issue of recording at three in the morning. Can you, what's really the difference with recording during the day and at night? I, sh- I don't know. I, I feel like for me at night, it's, yo, <laughs> I'm just at, at peace and I'm alone. There's no distraction. Mm. No one is calling you. Mm. You know, you're just alone in the studio. So. Yeah, the creativity is just different and the vibe is just always different when you record at night. Did you record my blesser during daytime? I uh, recorded my blesser in the evening. <laughs> it was after class. Ah. Um, and then, yeah, I met, met with my purisa. Mm. had to re-record it again. Mm. Um, I just landed from KZN to Joburg, so mm-hmm. I took a bus. Um, then I think I arrived around six, mm-hmm. and then my producer took me straight to the studio. We recorded the song, and then mm-hmm. around eight we were done with it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was in the morning. Nice. The one that you know. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. that song is. I think that's the song that um, brought you to limelight here in Zambia. Mm. Okay, everywhere. Even is even back home. Yeah, that's the yeah. yeah. So that's that like the, that's a song that put you on. That was the ticket from Hanga to <laughs> Pera. But that in the life. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the life of oh. flying now, touring, oh. and everything else. What is what really motivated you to do that song? Um. Okay. Well, I was going through something mm-hmm. when it comes to the love life department. Mm. Um, so I was having like a lot of negative thoughts. Mm. Um, I was thinking of harming myself and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I just made it into a song. Like that experience that I was going through, I made it into a song mm. to avoid killing myself and doing something stupid. Mm. And then, yeah, it just became the song that it is today. Nice. So did it give you like a lot of bookings? Because it's leading me to my next question. It gave me a lot of bookings. Okay. Yeah, it gave me a lot of bookings. Okay. A lot of bookings. I was, I was watching an interview where one of one of uh, your fellow artists back in South Africa said something like, they, they usually make a million in, like in a weekend. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, it's possible yeah. when you are that guy. Okay. Yeah, at the time, because... There's no limit actually to what you can make. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, like others charge like 80,000 per mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing like four shows mm-hmm. in a weekend and then you're charging like 80, what? 80,000, 80, 120,000, it's possible to make a million. Mm-hmm. I never made a million though. Ah, no. Yeah, let's keep it We're like that. We're heading there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So my next question is like, what work ethic are you going to bring to Zambia? Because because man, we're looking forward to this show. Oh. So what are you going to bring to the table for us? Well, to actually tell the truth, I'm very skeptical. Like, it's my first time here, so mm. I don't know, like, what you guys actually know about Mlino, like, what songs mm. you guys really love. So I'm just going to do Mlino, you know? Mm. I'm just going to do me in the end. Yeah, we'll take it from there. I'm just mm. going to do my normal stuff. Nice. Indian. Have you heard of any Zambian artist who's, like, Who's the topic that side when it comes to Zambian artists? So the Zambian Chandi, there's this guy that um, I saw in the poster. Mm-hmm. I was actually listening to his songs yesterday. Mm-hmm. I just forgot his name now. Yo Maps. Yo T-shirt. Maps. T-shirt. Uh, Mr. Baila. Uh, T-shirt. Yeah, right? T-shirt. Yes. You actually yeah. look alike yeah. now that you mentioned. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Tell me about that now. Yes. How did so, you find his music? Yeah, it's, it's 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 really interesting. I love his vibe, mm. and um, yeah, I was really like looking forward to actually watching him perform. Mm. Yeah, so I think from there we can I don't know possible a feature or something. Mm. I'm cool. I'm cool. Nice. I'm open to anything. Yeah, open to anything. Interesting. Yeah. Tell me about the Zambia market. I've noticed most of you guys when. Let's say you make it in South Africa, you know. Yeah, it's easy for us to notice upcoming artists from... I don't know why. Yeah, let's start with that. Why is it easy for us to notice upcoming artists in South Africa? But it's different. I, yeah, you know? I think there's just... Um, well, the, the, the TV channels that you, African countries, like Africa as a whole, you know? Mm. Like, if a guy is big in Nigeria, mm. you know, it's possible that... Okay, it's just, yeah. It's, mm. People in Zimbabwe are supposed to actually just know. Mm. And then when it comes to, like, um, artists from, I don't know, maybe let's say Malawi mm. and stuff, I don't know what you guys do when it comes to submitting your music to mm. these music channels. Mm. So I think, yeah, that's the only thing because we actually watch the same channels yeah. in Africa. So it's all about who's submitting. Mm. Yeah, because it's just like that. Yeah, because like a lot of South African music is just out there because mm. this guy submit. Like now it's my piano. So there's a new song every day, mm. every day. And they make sure that they push it on MTV, Channel All, mm. Trace. So it's just simple like that. It's not like they are... Uh, special or something it's just yeah. that they submit their music to these channels nice so, and yeah. for people that actually don't know the difference in these genres of music mm. uh, they'll think you, you, you they'll throw you in the category of I'm a piano do you oh, me? yeah like no, no, no. what, what sound do you do um what do you call it is it Afro pop <laughs> I call it cry music oh yeah you call, yeah. You call it cry music so I think it's Afro pop, actually. Like, I do have a few my piano songs, mm -hmm. but um, what can I say? I never recorded those songs. Ah. Um, there was just songs that we, like, you know, and the, there's a beat in the studio, and then there are mm -hmm. ideas that I left in the studio without mm -hmm. finishing. Then they take those vocals and then paste them mm -hmm. to those piano beats. Then the next thing I know, I have a piano song. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Nice. I, I never heard, recorded it. I heard the, is it Lotto? Yeah, yeah the Lotto something with something so it. That's yeah. dope, man. Yeah, That's we tried, dope. We tried, we tried. That's dope. That, yeah, now I was asking about the Zambian market. Like, what's mm. what's with the Zambian market? Because I see a lot of um, artists from SA coming mm. to Zambia, doing shows and everything like that, which is good for our industry. Mm -hmm. But what is it about this Zambian market? I don't know. I think it's the vibe, actually. You know, like, actually, just Africa as a whole, it's one and mm. we need to actually just try and focus on that mm -hmm. um you know visiting each other and collaborating with mm. other artists i think that's actually the future that's what we need to actually focus on to so mm. make sure that we plug everyone mm. you know dope yeah. i want you to teach me this is the, um mm. it was on your song called mali but i hear a lot of people in south africa saying it but i don't know what it is okay. it says Amakaya Okufamadi Uzobona. I hope this is right. Which one is that? This is this one here. Amakaya Okafa Uzobona. Something like. Okay, the Amakaya part is with there. I don't know where you caught that one. <laughs> I don't know. Ufek Mali Uzobona, something like that. Yes, <laughs> now we get it. Some, Another high yeah, five yes. I it's got it. You're busy remixing yeah. this one. These are your lyrics. I don't have these ones. The Ufek Mali part, yeah. I know. Because hey, yeah, I, I hear know. people say, Ufek Ufag Mali Uzobona. Ufek Mali Uzobona, we. Yes, yeah, so it just <laughs> please means... Please carry on, please. Please. Um, Ufek Mali Uzobona, Ufek Mali Uzobona. Hey, what's that? Just put in money, you see. So ah. it's like that. Like, um, you know, whatever you want to do, like, I don't know, what do you call it? Even in a relationship, like, you're asking someone and then they, like, they're not taking you seriously. Mm. And then until you show that, okay, yeah, you have money, then mm. things happen. Everywhere, it just happens like that, you know, like, I don't know. So that's what the song was talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's just that, like, that um, whatever situation you're kind of like facing and then yeah. this is what you want. Yeah. Until you actually include the money part, mm. then that's where people start taking you seriously or actually doing what you're asking for. How are you doing it on the crest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> These interviews, yes. yes. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> now, um, the news broke mm. out and we... That I'm pregnant. No, come on, man. The news... <laughs> um, there was a time that you were heading on... You, you were on tour. You were involved in a road accident. We just mm. heard about it, but we don't know how you recovered from it. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure a lot of people want to find out. Yeah. How, how was it for you, man? It was tough. You know, it was tough because it was like... Yeah... About that time where I was actually gigging a lot. Mm. Um, so I kind of like missed a lot of shows because I was in hospital. Mm. Um, I had a surgery on my, my, my hand. I'm glad you did. Um, yeah, and then I had to be at home for a while and mm. fix some traditional stuff. Mm. You know? So yeah, but I'm cool now. Yeah, good okay. now. Yeah, yeah. Nice, you can room. see your fits. Yeah, yeah, I can have the six packs and everything, but yeah, it's not where we at. But yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, Lindo. Oh. We play rock paper scissors. You know rock paper scissors? No, right? no, it's no. It's, uh, I don't know that. You don't know why. the boom boom. No, so, no, no. I, listen. I usually see it on TV. Huh? Oh. Yeah, we just if, cut two yeah. guys do Mordecai and Ripke. Yeah. A lot. So I, if I win at that, uh -huh. you actually get to close with Ama Blesa for us. So if you win. Which means it's not fair already because I told you I can't do it, so already you won. <laughs> so that's cheating. Okay, then let's, then let's just do it. Just do it. I'm a blesser. But you're gonna win. Oh shit, I'm a blesser. Yay. Um, is it possible if I have like uh, maybe my keyboard, my band, and stuff like real quick? <laughs> yeah, so that's not possible. Yes. Oh, right. mm, okay. <laughs> Oh, he has a time to hold the velo while I am. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Doom, doom. Velo ball is straight, so velo ball is shot. I'm a zuma wangane. Doom, doom, doom. You are the bitches, but the bitches kill me. Okay, we're, wait, we're waiting Fine for you to time. hit it. Yeah. We're waiting for you to hit yeah, it. It's okay. Ah. We'll, we'll finish it on the show. We'll All right, cool. Yeah. Social media handles, please. Start off, Zambian uh, people can follow yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that I have like some Zambian followers now. Then mm. we can rock on it different. Yeah. Um, it's actually on Twitter. It's at Lindo RSA. Mm -hmm. uh, on Instagram, it's at Lindo the Vocalist. Mm -hmm. um, on Facebook, it's Lindo the Vocalist. Mm -hmm. And on WhatsApp, Lindo, uh, my, my, my number is... Uh, Don't worry, guys. I'll yeah, leave with the number, so yeah. yeah. I, I, no, I think it's the networks, <laughs> if you know. And the Wi-Fi, so yeah, yeah. We'll come back to that one. We'll come back to that one, eh? Shout out. Thank you so much for just finding time to mm. sit down and you know, share your knowledge. At least now we know something about the TV channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you need to plug that one. Yes. Once Let's we... focus on that. Yeah. Just make music and then make sure that we don't just play for our friends and mm. just make sure that... Because we, like, yo, guys... African talent is actually amazing. Mm. You know, and I was in Malawi the last past few months, and then there's kids there. Mm. You're like, oh, you're supposed to be famous. Mm. But we just need to make sure that we give people the music. It needs to be out there. So, yeah. Cool. You said you're giving us the music in June, new album. An EP. EP. Just nine, nine songs. songs. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Sure. Shout out, I'm Linda. I'm a fan. I've always been a fan. Mm. You know, though the blessings are in our way after that song because yeah, we couldn't yeah. play it anymore. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what time it is? I've been your girl EDNA, the people's bay. If I say it, he knows, then you know where I got the name from. Okay, yeah. yeah. You know where I got the name from. From, from, oh yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's skip that one. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, bye, guys. You know what time it is? Hashtag elevating the industry. Mwah.